Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Mitch, and I make videos about, well, my YouTube channel is all about credit. So whether it's credit repair, credit hacks, manufacturer spending, anything that falls under the category of credit, I'm pretty knowledgeable when it comes to this subject. So please feel free to ask me any questions, and I'll respond to you guys back. So in this video, I wanted to speak about why I don't think anybody should get the city. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. The city credit card from Costco. Um, number one reason I'm just going to say it right now is... Uh, I hate, I really dislike the, the rewards points. One, there's no sign up bonus for getting a, the credit card in the game. If you guys are aware that if you guys get a credit card, you get a hard increment in your credit report, which usually dings your credit score and stays on your credit report for two years. So, um, I'm not sure if you guys know that, but I'm just throwing that out there. So again, no sign up bonus for a hard increment. In my opinion, it's ridiculous. I'll tell you guys at the end of the video, why is it that I got the city credit card? Um, Number two is that, they only give you the, um, you know, they do give a uh, great cash back, you know, 4%, 3%, 2% for the, for the first $7,000. And there's usually a, a category, which is not that great, especially if you're a high spender, you can do $7,000 in, in gas within like three months. It just, it just really depends. My opinion, um, that 4% is great, but, and again, it only applies for Costco gas. So if I go to Chevron, they're only going to give me 1% cash back. So I have to go to Costco. And if you guys are familiar with Costco, their lines are ridiculous. It's like crossing the border. Like sometimes I'm there for like 30 minutes and I'm wondering, and I'm sitting there, is a 4% cashback really worth 30 minutes of my time? You know, I, I don't know about you, but to me, I can do a lot in 30 minutes. So just something to put in perspective in case you're, you know, if you don't mind waiting in a hot day in your car, just waiting to put gas. I mean, I guess that 4% is cashback is worth it. Um, again, the number two, uh, another reason that I do not recommend anybody getting the city Costco credit card is because, or oh, unless for me, because I'm a credit card churner. So for me to wait, a, to wait a full year to rack up my, my cash back, it's in my, in my opinion, ridiculous. Like, I, and on top of that, to, uh, to add insult to injury guys, they don't give it to you in a form of statement credit, gift cards or cash back. They give it to you in a in a Costco redeemable gift certificate. So guess what? You're gonna have to use your cash back at Costco to redeem your 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 cash back rewards, uh, cash I guess. But okay, here, um, I'm not sure many of you guys are aware, but I found a little not not, not a loophole because I think it's pretty knowledgeable. But I found out a way to actually um get money my money back instead of using it again in Costco. So what I do is that I buy a uh, um an item that the cheapest I can find. So for in, in this case, I think I buy water bottles, like the cheapest kind, like three, four bucks. So what I do is that I go to the register, you give them your gift card, it's gonna be a paper certificate. And what they do is that they're gonna ask you, do you want me to deduct it or do you want the cash back? And I, and that's where you'd be like, no, I want to be able to have my cash back. So what they do is that, for example, your, your, your cash back reward is 200 bucks. They'll deduct maybe five to six dollars and then they'll give you cash $196. So that's the way around it, so you don't have to go back to Costco and feel forced to spend that money. So, again, guys, those are the two main reasons why I dislike. Um, I don't recommend anybody getting the city Costco card because it's not worth it. I mean, you're going to have to wait a year to get your um, your cash back rewards. And on top of that, there's no sign-up bonus. There's no incentive to, for, for applying for the card. Again, you guys can shop at Costco even with the regular membership. And also, too, I'm just going to throw it out there. Um... You don't need a Costco credit, a Costco credit card, or a Costco membership to, you know, buy items at the pharmacy, buy alcohol. Which for all you young people, that's a plus. You can just walk in and say, "Hey, I'm gonna buy alcohol," and they let you walk by free and clear. So yeah, guys, uh, I just wanted to give you guys my two cents. If you guys are considering getting the City Costco credit card, ask yourself these questions. Um, if if you still want it, I, hey, go for it. Feel free. But if you're in the credit community and you're trying to make money off your credit cards, I truly don't recommend anybody getting this credit card. I honestly just got this credit card because of my wife. My wife, um, and, 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 and I guess in my opinion, it kind of, it balanced out because my wife really wanted it. And we do, we do commute a lot. You know, she commutes, I commute. So I, I figured it was worth it for the 4% um, gas and, you know, we do shop a lot in bulk. Even though it's just two people, I don't even know why we have a cost. Anyways, that's something I had to discuss with my wife. Again, guys, if you have any questions about credit repair, credit hacks, or anything in general about credit, please please feel free to DM me on Instagram. That is where I'm most active at. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope this gives you a perspective of whether you should get the Costco credit card or if you shouldn't. If you do plan on getting the Costco um, City credit card, 
And if you're into credit card training, that's this, again, this is only for us individuals who like to do manufacturer spending and, you know, make money off our credit cards. This should be one of the last credit cards you should get. Again, guys, because there's no incentive for your cashback bonus. Again, let me put to you, let me put let me put it for you into this perspective. If you watch my my Chase 524 rule, let's say for example, I have four hard increase on my credit point, then I go get the city uh, Costco credit card. I'm a five I'm a five hard increase. So you're not gonna want to now you won't be able to get the more more lucrative credit cards that are like the Chase Freedom, the Chase Unlimited, the Chase Sapphire. You know the list goes on and on. So. I hope I didn't lose you guys there. If, again, you guys have any questions, please feel free to DM me. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Take care.